What if you played against Michael Jordan? In 2K? Yeah. I would beat him too. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Rachel and welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. On today's episode, you vote on the top plays of the week. We teach you how to successfully execute the pick and roll, hang with cover athlete James Harden and fill you in on all the updates coming with patch three. And kicking off the show to fill us in on all the details on patch three, I have Mr. Mike Wang joining me on set. Hi, Rachel. Pro-Am, people are loving it, but I know you guys have gone in there and cleaned it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, well, you had just one uniform, and so now we're giving you the opportunity to make it home uniform and an away uniform, so that'd be nice. Online, too, there's been some issues with jerseys. Yeah, yeah, so going into online, you can choose your jerseys and see who your opponent's choosing, so you can make sure you're not choosing the same things. Nice. So it's a nice change there. What about my part? For all the campers out there who are taking their bigs and then just setting screens in the paint and then doing all these illegal screens, we've, we've put in some things to combat that. We're actually adding a three second violation in there. So like an nice. anti-camping rule. So you're gonna have to get in and out of the paint. What about my career? You can actually have a my player head or your head on those big head things. So you can see yourself in the crowd, people holding up your head. And so yeah, a nice little perk. When you retire in my career, you get kind of locked into um, like this retirement screen, you can't do anything after that. So we've actually allowed you to go back into my court now after you retire, so you can access the park and you can access all the other modes like you could before. But what have you been working on with gameplay? You're gonna find that you're gonna have to move the ball in a more realistic way. You can't just like dribble the whole clock out and, and pull up all the time. And So all these things that people were doing, they're gonna have to kind of relearn a little bit of how to play the game online, especially in, in the park. And, and just hopefully just play basketball to be successful. Well, thank you for all the details. I know we're all excited to jump into it. Back on the show for a second year in a row, we have the beard, James Harden. So what does it mean now that James is a cover athlete? I found out those details and more when I met up with the star at his former high school. What's up guys, today I am here with James Harden in your hometown at your high school. Artesia, this is where the James Harden era started and I'm just happy to be back. When you come back, is it different or you still get that same energy? No, I definitely get that same energy from you know me being a freshman and running on the track to having to do sprints to catching the bus early to, to you know school to you know put up extra jump shots before class. All those memories bring you know come back to my mind and so um, you know it gives me it gives me smiles. So what was your most memorable moment, the most fulfilling here? I think winning, winning two state championships. I think all, all that hard work paid off. You know, from my freshman and sophomore year to, you know, coach molded us to, you know, want to be in the best condition um, that we can be in. And, and so, um, my junior and senior year, we won two cha uh, state championships, and uh, well, that was probably the, the happiest moments, uh, especially in high school. So now, you are on the NBA 2K16 cover. When you first heard the news, who was the first person you told? Uh, my agent. You know, he told me, we've been working with 2K for a minute now, and so, um, you know, they, they definitely gave me the opportunity to be on the cover. Um, it's definitely, a, you know, a blessing and a dream come true. You know, as a kid, you're growing up, you're, you're playing 2K, and then just to you know, be on the video game and then actually be on the cover, um, you know, I appreciate 2K for, for giving me this opportunity. And you have a couple other guys that are on the cover too, but do you think that if you guys had a mini tournament that you would win? Of course. You always got to have confidence in yourself, right? <laughs> what if you played against Michael Jordan? In 2K? Yeah. I would beat him too. your specialties, you're known for being very good at attacking the basket yeah. and drawing contact. So for our viewers at home, our gamers, our ballers that are watching the show, what are three tips that you have for them on attacking the rim? To be honest, I think it's just one. You know, I think it's just always being aggressive. And if you're aggressive and you're in attack mode at all times, for the most part, something good is gonna happen. You know, So whether it's getting to the basket, whether it's you know creating separation from your defender to, to get off your jump shot, uh, whatever it is, just being aggressive and always you know, having that attack mentality and uh, something positive will happen. So in 20 years, when people still have their 2K16 cover, 20 years. how do you hope that they remember your NBA career? 
that he was one of the most competitive guys to ever play the game. Uh, championships or not, you know, just he had that drive and that that will to just do whatever it takes for his teammate to win, and um, you know, he was a class act guy. I like it. Cool. <laughs> High pick and roll is a staple move in the NBA, and today we have Scott O'Gallagher to show you guys how to execute this play in 2K16. What's up, 2K fans? Scott O'Gallagher here, and welcome to another edition of Winning Tips. This time, we're talking pick and roll. Every pick and roll defense that you see in the NBA is represented in NBA 2K16. In order for you to have a successful pick and roll game, you need to know what tools you have at your disposal. The first question is, how do we call a pick and roll? What we need to do is hold the pick button. Holding the pick button will call the nearest post player to come set a screen for you. This year, we've also added the option to choose which side of the screen you would like the pick to be set on. You can do this by tapping the sprint trigger. By default, the screener will automatically choose to roll. You also have the option to make the screener fade by tapping the icon pass button. One of my favorite options in NBA 2K16 is the ability to choose who you want to have as your screener. You can do this by tapping the pick button and then holding the icon of the player who you want to come and screen. All right guys, here's a good example of how to put the pick and roll into play. As you can see, we're in a four out one end set. What does that mean to you? How many players are outside the three? So right now we've got four players. That means we're stretching the floor. So with that, I want to bring Miritich. Miritich is a good three-point shooter. To do that, I'm going to tap the pick button. And as Miritich is coming over, I'm then going to tap the icon pass button that's going to choose fade. So as Rose takes us, we attack it hard. A nice open pick and pop. All right, guys, just remember, these are the basics. Feel free to join me here next week, and we're going to break down formation, spots on the floor, our strong side, weak side, to help take your pick and roll game to the next level. Until next time. It's your man, Dazar, the 2K Whisperer, back for your My Park Championship recap. It was the sixth round of the My Park Championship, and we saw both the Flyers and the Ballers break out of their deep-seated rut from the last three rounds. It was all a dream. It started just like normal with Rivet City rushing to take the early lead yet again, but Sunsea Beach was not having it. The bowler snatched the lead and held on to it for the entire weekend. An outstanding performance by, let's just call him Mr. Sprinkles with 275 wins. We also need to shout out AI3 and Clutch Boy 67 once again for leading the ballers to their second rival day win. The Rough Riders held on to that second place slot with nearly 500 wins combined from the dynamic duo of Sunless 2.0 and OP 2.0. But with 12 hours left to go, the Old Town Flyers found inspiration and caught Rivet City napping. They snatched second place from them in another championship point to go along with them. Commendations all around a sick witted 808 and the wait is over with 200 wins apiece as they led the Flyers over the first place Rough Riders. We asked you to help the Flyers out last week, but they didn't even wait for help to arrive. Old Town brought the funk to my park to find out which room and where you will play this week's house room. Check out the wall to find out. And if you win this week's rival day, remember to pick up your prizes as well. Until next time, it's your man, the Czar, the 2K Whisper, reminding you, real ballers do it in the park.
Thanksgiving is just a couple weeks away and we want to know what you guys are thankful for. So tell us on social media using the hashtag 2KTVThanks and send in those photos and videos to NBA2KTV at 2KSports.com. And we'll show some of the best submissions on our Thanksgiving special at the end of the month. Next week we hang out with the youngest star of Blackish, Miles Brown. I'll see you guys next time.